Hi. How is everyone doing? Hope you all had a nice BMA 2020 paper. How did you find the paper? Was it easy, hard, or moderate? Please let us all know in the comments or by answering this question above. Okay, so the objective of this video is to look at the predictions that we made in this channel regarding the BME 2020 syllabus and based on the actual paper, what are the takeaways for BME 2021? In general, by now we know that we have like 65 questions worth of 100 marks, right? So, this video I'm going to focus on the number of questions. So, here are the topics in the BME syllabus General Aptitude, Engineering, Math, common to most, most papers, okay? There will be 10 questions usually from General Aptitude and 10 from Engineering Mathematics. So that leaves us with like 45 questions, which is 65 minus 20 from the core topics. It's possible to access a BME 2020 paper. Okay, you could sign into the official gate website and there you could access, in fact, even the answers that you have actually given for the exam. I managed to get a copy of the question paper and I'm going to write the number of questions that actually showed up on each of these topics. What is the topic that had the most number of questions? Okay, which one it is? I had said because it's a BME paper, let's not skip sensors and bio instrument that happened to be one of the most important topics. And we had like 12 questions from this one topic and that was a topic that had the most number of questions okay so what are the topics that had some some of the least number of questions one of the topics is actually the signals and systems right signals and systems had just one question but at this point one might ask is it a good idea to skip signals and systems completely no certainly in the basics of fourier transforms laplace transforms first order second order systems and all that and how do you do basic sampling and filtering once you know the basics i think uh, we can safely skip signals and systems okay then there was one more topic in which there was only one question that was which of this do you know right it's actually the biomaterials if you notice there was one question from sma shape memory alloys and the sample question paper i suggested or i had posted also had an informative question on sma's right so the number of topics in biomaterials is actually very very less so for that reason number of questions that could appear are also less typically of again one more type okay so there was only one from the biomaterials then what were some of the most important topics the topic that had the second number of second most number of questions was biomechanics so biomechanics had 11 questions so there were a couple of surprises from biomechanics one is that pretty much there were no questions from no or hardly any questions from biofluids right the kind of questions one would expect based on say cardiovascular mechanics pressure vessels flow in a pressure vessels and fluid mechanics solid mechanics and all that interestingly all the questions that showed up in biomechanics were from first and second year engineering syllabus. For example, there were so many engineering mechanics type questions, okay? And uh, if you notice, I had actually uploaded two videos, one on ankle joint and another one on elbow joint, right? 
So there was a, actually a question from, very similar question from ankle joint. And there were some basic questions from kinematics, what happens to the knee and all that, okay? And what kind of motions are there in, in the human body? So what is the takeaway? So the topics in the biomechanics that they are addressing in gait are actually much simpler than what we anticipated based on the topics that they had given in the syllabus. In fact, things are mostly at the engineering mechanics level. Having said that, that raises a couple of other interesting points. One is that many questions heavily relied on knowledge of anatomy and physiology. For example, there are two questions, right, which in order to answer that, we had to know what a trochanter knee ankle line is. If you do not know what the trochanter part of that phrase is, okay, you could not attempt what the question is. So the questions in biomechanics were kind of tied up with, deeply tied up with questions in anatomy and physiology, okay. So questions are going to be very simple at the engineering mechanics level, but we also need to know biomechanics specifically applied to human movement, right? So we need to understand basic anatomy and physiology, at least for the standard joints and all that very well. And so because there are so many questions in biomechanics, number of questions that showed up in anatomy and physiology were just so many of the questions in anatomy and physiology, one could say it's in this topic or one could also categorize them in biomechanics. I'll give two examples. So there were questions from cell membranes, right, and ion channels in the cell membranes, sodium, potassium, ion channels. One could say they belong to physiology or equivalently because they are mechanical processes. There are descriptions for all that in biomechanics physiological descriptions, they also fall in biomechanics part. Anyways, so this was an important topic, don't skip it for 2021 and it's a good idea to know basic anatomy and physiology. This also holds good with what I said earlier, it's a very easy topic, know that, okay. Okay, so what are we left with? I said it would be a safe idea to skip or if I were you, I said I'll be skipping analog and digital electronics because uh, there are so many topics, so many questions possible, right? And even if I were to skip the whole topic in the syllabus, I'm going to miss like five or six questions. That's what I thought. The actual questions that showed up from analog and digital electronics is actually three, just three, okay? Having said that, yeah, it's a good idea to skip analog and digital electronics, signals and systems, but make sure you know the basics. You mentioned the basics for this. The basics for this, of course, basics on diodes, op amps, standard signal conditioning circuits, simple logic gates, and all that. Okay, logic expressions, uh, perhaps some DAC converters and all that, okay? Know the basics. One of the most important topics, there are so many questions from medical imaging. So the questions were interesting both from the physics side as well as questions based on bioinstrumentation side. For example, from the physics side, there were deep questions on MRI, okay, what are the different relax relaxation times in MRI, okay, and uh, what are the, how, how would the MRI parameters affect the relaxation times. These are slightly deeper physics-based questions in medical imaging systems. At the same time, there are also so many questions in medical imaging using bioinstrumentation devices like Doppler ultrasound and uh, fiber optics. And if you notice, the question paper I had given, there was a very similar question on Doppler ultrasound. 
Okay, so in fact, the number of questions in medical imaging systems was actually eight. So, in fact, these three topics made the major part of the BME paper. So, if you are good at these two, and if you knew these three very well, you would ace the exam. Okay. And measurement and control systems, there were like considerable number of questions because again, measurements, there are so many topics, control systems, there are so many topics, easy to pick a question here and there and there were total five. And another reason there were so many questions for measurements and control systems is because there is a lot of overlap with instrumentation engineering. Okay. There are so many measurement devices that show up in instrumentation engineering syllabus. So it's easy to pick gate questions from this topic. Anyways, there were like five from this particular topic. And so even in this, at this stage, I hold on to what I said earlier. I would skip this. I would know the basics of controls, okay, and all that. If you notice again, there was a very similar question on LTA systems based on the sample paper that I had given that showed up in control systems. Anyways, know the basics of control systems, but know what the standard devices that are there in the BMA syllabus. What is a PMMC? What are the different kinds of Bridgestone bridges used for say measuring capacitance, inductance and all that. Get to know all the devices, at least what they do in the syllabus. Get to know what they are. That at least is a must. There were two questions from electrical circuits. So overall, from the core syllabus, there were like 45 questions. That plus 10 from math and 10 from aptitude, totally 65 questions. Let me summarize. What are the most important topics for gate BM? Based on 2020, what can we guess for gate 2021? Sensors and bioinstrumentation, biomechanics, and medical imaging systems. Three topics are extremely important. And of course, general aptitude and engineering math are always very important and they're also very easy. Start spending time on those two topics earlier, it's going to be much easier to score higher. What are the topics that one could afford to skip? Signals and systems, analog and digital electronics, and perhaps electrical circuits. Okay, but having said that, make sure you know the basics in all these three topics. Okay, the basics or the foundations are extremely important as you go deeper and deeper into the subject. So at least make sure you know the basics for these three. And if you can't afford, if you don't have the time, I would consider skipping these three topics, analog and digital electronics, signals and systems, and electrical circuits for the gate BME 2021 paper. Now, this also raises a couple of other questions. I had suggested one book for the entire biomedical engineering topics, right? But now that we have more data on which topic is important and all that, I could start suggesting books for each of these important topics. What is the book for sensors and bioinstrumentation, especially for gate preparation? Or if you want to know the topics and syllabus better, understand, get a deeper understanding of the concepts, what are the books one could follow? I'll start suggesting those books earlier so that you have time to get them and prepare. Okay. And finally, because this is not the gate season, I have some room to make videos on other topics. So I have a couple of things planned, interesting things planned, and I am quite excited about it. I'll see you with those videos. And till then, wish you good luck and best wishes.